In this video, I'm going to take you through the uh, other side in the balance sheet, which is liabilities. So on the liability side, as we earlier saw, uh, you know, you have equity, you have non-current liabilities and current liabilities. And now we're going to deep dive into three of these items to, you know, just get a feel of the contents within these. So let's look at equity share capital point 13. So when you scroll to, uh, you know, note number 13 in the annual report, you see these details. And you have something called authorized capital, something called issued, subscribed, and paid up capital. Now, you know, there is this nomenclature uh, has certain meaning. Authorized share capital is the maximum capital. And by capital, you know, I mean investment. That's what it means. Investment coming in from the shareholders. This is the maximum capital that a company is allowed to uh, raise. Uh, so this is uh, and this can be increased from time to time, but you know, you have to pay a fee in order to increase the uh, share capital. Again, you know, this is one of the restrictions on the company form of business and then issued subscribed and paid up capital. Out of the total maximum capital that you can raise maximum money that you can raise from public, uh, you are going to issue a certain percentage at a given time. So let's say out of uh, if you had 100 as the authorized capital, you will say right now we are going to issue only 60 to the public. We're going to raise 60 rupees from the public. And it is again possible that when you issue these shares to the public, uh, you know, not all the shares are subscribed for. So there is a process that you have to follow to issue shares. You know, that's beyond the scope of this course. But when you follow that process, uh, the public subscribes uh, for your uh, capital. So subscribed capital uh, can be, let's say, 58 to, you know, uh, is the amount which which remained unsubscribed for. Uh, and then finally, uh, paid up capital, which means that after 58 rupees had been subscribed for, uh, the total amount um, for the investment was not received. All the amount may not be received and you finally ended up uh, receiving only 50 out of the 55. So that's the hierarchy of this terminology of capital. So in this case, you have issued, subscribed and paid up capital. All three are equal, meaning all the shares that were issued uh, were subscribed for and the company has received money uh, for those shares from the public. So that's the terminology in the share capital. Let's um, uh, go back and deep dive into the borrowings under non-current liabilities we're going to look at uh, borrowings so note number 15 you have secured and unsecured uh, borrowings again i clarified the concept of secured versus unsecured if you do not pay if reliance does not pay the secured liabilities then some property of reliance industries limited is going to be taken over by you know if it is a bank uh, they will take it over or if it is any other uh, source from where uh, the loan has been taken they will take it, take over uh, that particular asset sell it off and recover the money unsecured on the other hand means you know it's, they can't do anything about it if if reliance does not pay back that amount so under the secured, you have non-convertible uh, debentures. Again, you know, some uh, advanced terminology, convertible, non-convertible. It basically means uh, convertibility into equity shares at some time in future. But again, I don't want to get into that. That's beyond the scope uh, of the course. All we need to understand is that these are long-term loans that the company has raised. Some are secured and some are unsecured. Again, there are debentures, there are bonds and debenture and bonds in simple language is the money that you raise from general public in terms in, in form of a loan rather than going to a bank. Okay, let's uh, go back and now we're going to look at current liabilities and we will look at the borrowings under current liabilities. This is note number 19. 
you have the same uh, categorization and you go to different companies annual reports financial statements you will see similar categorization you have secured uh, uh, borrowings and you have unsecured borrowings from banks uh, in you know foreign currency in rupee currency so you know the details can vary from company to company but uh, certain nomenclature certain way of uh, breaking down these things and presenting uh, these things has been prescribed under the companies act uh, there is a format which is issued uh, using which uh, all the companies need to prepare their financial statements so uh, so that's it uh, this is what i wanted to discuss in this video uh, you now know the contents of the balance sheet uh, in detail as well uh, we have not discussed some advanced items but the idea is that you should know that the discussion on uh, asset liability income and expenses in the uh, you know first uh, module of the course uh, that has now equipped you to look through to browse through the annual report the financial reports of a company and and understand it you know the uh, broad level uh, categorizations under these terms as well and you know how to find the details under each of these terms uh, also i'll see you in the next video